times of economic turmoil, some people blame trade and think that when we buy products and services from outsiders, we're denying work to ourselves. Trade may be good for the foreigners, they think, but it's bad for us. Such thoughts go back very far in history. Traders and merchants who take our goods abroad and bring the goods of foreigners to us are rarely popular. But let's think about what traders and merchants do. Imagine a scientist who invents a machine, a huge machine that converts things that are cheap to make into things that are expensive to make. We put our products into the machine and valuable items come out. The machine allows us to focus on making stuff that's easy to make and turning it into more valuable stuff that's expensive to make. This new machine helps us to live better lives. Florida farmers put oranges in and out come telephones, medicines, clothing, and the other things our farmers need. Others put in their products, shirts or medicines or telephones, and out come potatoes, oranges, cars, and other things that would be hard or costly for them to make for themselves. What would we say about our scientist? He'd be applauded, awarded, thanked as a benefactor, a genius, an honored fellow citizen. Now what if I were to tell you that this machine exists? The world is covered with them. They're called ports. Every day, thousands of ships depart, carrying our products away, and others arrive, bringing us the products of strangers. Does the discovery change how we consider the benefits of the machine? Instead of a lot of gears and wheels turning cheap goods into expensive goods, goods are being exchanged. Trade is like a machine that allows farmers to convert oranges into telephones and allows factory workers to convert their products into oranges and medicines and clothes and everything else they want. What else does our machine create now that we've found it's merely a port with ships coming in and out? Trade creates peace. Peace is the natural effect of trade. Countries that trade are much less likely to go to war. In fact, the greater the volume of trade between nations, the lower the likelihood of conflict. Free trade creates mutual benefit. The advantages of others are put at our service as our advantages are put at theirs. To those who complain that other nations have many advantages over us, the economist Frederick Bastiat responded, through exchange, they are in fact compelled to let us share in those advantages.